A tale of intrigue. State secrets. And undercover operations. This is the most dangerous time for the Middle East. The shadow of clandestine warfare has put the entire world at risk. Two archenemies are just one miscalculation away from what could escalate into a full-fledged world war. Israel, the only state in the Middle East with nuclear weapons, has the most up-to-date conventional weaponry. Once considered haram for Iran, an audacious Tehran is also shifting its strategy towards the N-word. Trauma. Thermal burn. Radiation casualties. The risk of a catastrophic, unthinkable giant firestorm has reached its highest point in decades. Will Iran and Israel press the nuke button? Is Israel's biggest kept secret at risk of an attack? Will audacious Tehran go after Israel's nukes? Today, I'm disclosing for the first time that Iran has another secret facility in Tehran, a secret atomic warehouse for storing massive amounts of equipment and material from Iran's secret nuclear weapons program. At a time when the Middle East is on the brink of the biggest war, Officials in Tehran are pushing to openly pursue nuclear weapons. And Israel still continues to maintain its long-standing policy, not officially confirming nor denying that it possesses nuclear weapons. But the tale beneath the desert sands is different. As per various reports, Israel has an enigmatic nuclear facility in Dimona, located in the Negev Desert. Amid the lack of clarity surrounding an Israeli nuclear weapons program, several studies have suggested that it has a 26-megawatt thermal reactor, however, some believe that is an underestimation of its actual capacity. In 2020, Netanyahu called Israel a nuclear power in an apparent stumble, but corrected himself after the momentary slip with a smile. Quote, The significance of this project is that we are turning Israel into a nuclear power correcting himself, energy power. If reports are to be believed, Israel has successfully managed to assemble an entire underground nuclear arsenal, estimated at 80 warheads. 30 are gravity bombs for delivery by aircraft. The remaining 50 weapons can be delivered by Jericho 2 medium-range ballistic missiles. However, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, CIPRI, outlined the estimate between 90 and 300 nuclear weapons. America has played a key role in this. Under diplomatic cover, Israel received military aid for its secret nuclear program. Turning a blind eye to this, the US, France, Germany, Britain and Norway also allegedly sold Israel the material and expertise to create nuclear warheads. Now, Amid the Israel-Gaza war, the West is treading carefully to handle the volatile Middle East. On October 2, 2024, President Joe Biden gave a firm response that the US will not support an Israeli attack on sites related to Tehran's nuclear program. The answer is no. Uh, and uh, I think there's things... That we'll be discussing with the Israelis what they're going to do, but they have, all seven of us agree that they have a right to respond, but they should respond in proportion. A declassified 1969 memo to President Richard Nixon made it clear that Israel committed not to be the first to introduce nuclear weapons when buying the United States Phantom aircraft. However, in 2011, during an interview, Netanyahu dropped a bombshell when asked to confirm that Israel does not have any nuclear weapons with a response and I quote, that's our policy. 
not to be the first to introduce nuclear weapons into the Middle East. Not to forget, Iran has been producing uranium close to weapons grade levels after the collapse of its nuclear deal with world powers. The West's efforts have failed to halt Tehran from potentially developing an atomic bomb as diplomacy over its nuclear program remains stalled. October 2024 report suggested that Iran is now enriching uranium to up to 60% fissile purity, close to the 90% of weapons grade, at two sites. With pressure growing by each passing day, a startling study anticipated that around 5 billion people may die during the initial 72 minutes of a nuclear war. In all matters concerning war in the Middle East, all eyes are on the formidable weapon of apocalypse. Amid these speculations, we leave with one anecdote. Israel has US-produced F-15, F-16, and F-35 aircraft, which are all capable of carrying nuclear gravity bombs with modification. So is the Middle East at risk of an all-out nuclear war? Will Israel and Iran refrain from targeting each other's nuclear facilities? Or will the Gaza war unleash a nuclear apocalypse in the region? We'll wait and watch. What? the changes in India's population and the differential growth rate. This city has emerged. We have a very special he guest on the record. The interview. The role that the uh, US side played at that point of time. Zoom, my phone is tapped. I can probably say hello to Mr. Modi. Bharat par hai. Episode of Know Your Candidate. The rising confidence of India and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Communist China is the greatest threat. There will come a day that we will see far more radical extremists. I'm, uh, I'm still a little perplexed by why we... Your daily dose of news from India and across the world. Cutting-edge views and analysis. Tune into HD videos, click on the bell icon to subscribe.